Hello, my friends, and welcome back again. It is a Wednesday evening. I'm staying up late tonight. Uh, Canada's playing in the U.S. for the women's gold medal. I am always inspired by the women of the Canadian women's hockey team. The passion they have for the game. Let's face it, they're not making big bucks like our NHLers are, or even the guys playing over in Europe that are filling the team that is playing for the men's uh, semifinals in a day or two. Um, they play with a lot of passion because they love the game. And I love that about hockey. I love I love watching. You know, I go watch youth hockey because kids just play, man. You know, um, they love it. I miss playing a lot. I miss coaching more than anything. But uh, let's get into today's beer. Nine bucks at the LCBO. Flying Monkeys. In a nice box. Aurora Heart. Chocolate Raspberry Stout. A lot of people had this on Valentine's Day. I am not a lot of people. I mean, I'm a lot of person. You can come in. She just stands at the door now. She's like, can I come in? Um, but yeah, so I need something to slow sip. The game starts in about an hour, half an hour. This should do it. I need a good slow sipper. And who doesn't like a little chocolate and raspberry in their life? I'll tell you something. I don't like raspberries as a general rule. I don't eat them. I don't grow them. But for some reason, when worked into a stout, I am a big fan. So, ABV wise, 7.1. Certainly stepping up. You can smell. You can smell raspberries already. Oh, yeah. Like they call it like a decadent chocolate raspberry truffle, and, and it smells rich. When your beer's rich and you are, cheers! Okay, let's, let's have some beer. I probably shouldn't film anymore. But you know what? I'm just having a really good night, and I'd just like to share that with you guys. Me and Jake, so okay, give me a second. Can I have a sip first? Okay, cheers. Oh, wow. Okay. Like, seriously. Like, I was I was expecting to not like this. Not because I don't like Flying Monkeys. I'm a Flying Monkeys fan. But because I'm like, like raspberry stouts sometimes just, they're, they're treacly, they're um, cloying, they're artificial. All the things Jinx is not. Um, this is very well done. That raspberry is tart. It certainly is, but it is melded well together with the very, very rich chocolate notes. Okay, I can see as this thing warms up, I'm going to get much more bittersweet dark chocolate and some coffee in there. But I mean, the star here, the star is that very fruity raspberry. Now again, that's not going to be for everybody. Like, you know, I'm not for everybody. Jinx, of course, likes me most of the time. Um, Mrs. Polk also likes me most of the time. You guys, once in a while, all the time. We're good friends. But uh, for me, I think this beer definitely is, it's not a pounder. You're going to have more than one of these. It is very rich. It is very, very filling. I mean, it's not a thick mouthfeel. I think that would be my only wish. It's, it's stout-like. I would just a little little bit more would be my only my only wish my only wish would be for jinx and i to take the day and do nothing but we can't do that I'm back to work tomorrow so i'm gonna enjoy this one and watch our ladies go for gold go canada go again being born here is the luckiest thing that ever happened to me i'm proud to be a canadian i'm not sure you know it's weird when people say that because you were just born there you really had nothing to do with it but i'm gonna cheer the girls on tonight Go get them. Bring home the gold. This one. Pick it up. You know what? This would be a great beer to share. Luckily, I bought a second one and put it in the fridge for Mrs. Pope because I ain't crazy. She gonna love this. Cheers. <clears throat> Heartbreaker. What do you think? Should I sing? I like to sing. <laughs> 